educated woman. So that's what we are trying to, you know, to do. So like I said initially, you know, some of these girls that don't have anything to look up to, we give them a picture. We give them someone. This is an early flash. Okay, this is a doctor. <laughs> this is what she has done to be able to Come on, take the camera back. Yeah. Like, right? You want to be a market woman. You can be hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is victoria if it's your first time here thank you so much for joining me if you're a new subscriber you know i love you you know i appreciate you so much thank you for always and always coming back now if you see lipstick in my teeth please ignore it okay anyways how are you guys doing okay so yeah i haven't done a vlog in a while and i know this vlog has been one kind <laughs> um simply because i haven't really spoken right i've just been kind of filming things that are happening around me but not really giving any updates and that's because i've not really been in the mood to vlog in a while now yeah not even till now <laughs> but i just decided to do like an update and you know just to continue this vlog i mean what's what doing it's, it's what doing well right so anyway so um on friday this week has actually been an eventful week i've had so much to do geez from international women's day till now i haven't had a breathing space i had a, an instagram live on international women's day we had a couple of campaigns i had a lot to do work wise my both jobs um yeah it's just been a lot <laughs> so i haven't really even shot a video in a while like i haven't most of the ones i'm putting out are videos i've shot previously thankfully um but i actually wanted to do one today but then again another activity i added to my list so i've been going for classes right um so i <laughs> so i'm still doing my two jobs and now i've added classes to it so I'm, i've mentioned here that i'm doing ux ui design class and stuff so i decided to do a full stack you know development back end front end and all of those things yeah i want to be a, an official tech gig <laughs> tech person so i started that one in short i just got back from classes like when like about two hours ago I hadn't eaten all day i had to go and get something to eat um yeah and i immediately i got home i just ate and then i started to glam up for something i'll tell you later <laughs> yeah um so yes on friday um so i said i was i was live on ig yeah but that was work wise work thing and then the same thing on friday so i was i was literally battling with work and i got a call from nta that uh, what's NTA? what's the full meaning of nta do you know it put it down <laughs> national television <laughs> let me call my disgrace my ancestors here <laughs> anyway so yeah i got a call from nta out of the blues that they needed um an interview and you would think that oh maybe an interview tomorrow but no they called me around one and asked me to be available around 3 p.m obviously i wasn't the one they had in mind someone probably cancelled on them and they wanted us to discuss on international women's day about my organization and what we do and all of that so yeah i had to impromptu be on tv i literally had just one hour notice one hour yes one hour notice to be on tv like who does that <laughs> <laughs> well, so what I've only been on TV once. Um, I was on Engendered, um, say station on Star Times. Yeah, um, I shared that in one of my vlogs. So yes, I was on TV the second time. This time on a national TV. <laughs> yeah, that's actually very surreal for me, especially because being on TV has always been a dream of mine. It's always been something I wanted to do. Actually, what I wanted to do professionally was to be a TV presenter. But I don't know. I just never had the opportunity I did have the opportunity when I was younger but you know uh, my mom was scared you know <laughs> predators everywhere you understand so yeah I understand that and I still think you know it's all part of God's plan for me um, if you've been following me you know when I started doing video I told you guys I didn't start doing videos on YouTube I started doing videos on Facebook yes let's stop women I still have that page on Facebook by the way just ignore this nonsense right this nonsense browse brow shaping that this girl did for me just ignore it okay because literally she removed all the hair i don't know who does this but anyway just ignore it <laughs> where was i uh what was i talking about so yes i've always wanted to be a tv presenter um but i believe that you know everything works out in god's plan and in, in as much as i didn't pursue that particular career it's still something i'm hoping to do you know but i may not be on tv i was talking yeah yeah i was talking about when i was on uh, i have a page on facebook that's where i started doing videos you know i mentioned there i used to mention there all the time that i want to be on tv and you know sometimes god will put a dream in your heart and you don't know how it's going to come true i never knew that you know <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, being on TV is like a, 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 a very distant dream, right? Because you don't really know how it's going to happen. And in the space of two years, I've been on TV twice. One on the, on the um, decoder, what they call it, TV, Universal Decoder TV, whatever. And then on the national TV, which is amazing to me, you understand? So, yeah, it just made me realize, because I was just thinking about this a couple of days ago, that this has always been a dream for me. This has always been something I wanted to do. And I never thought it was going to happen. Even if it was going to happen, maybe somewhere in the future, you understand? And see, it just it just gives me the assurance that God makes everything to work out together. Sometimes God will put a dream in your heart. And you don't know how, it, do, it doesn't look like it's going to be a reality, but God has a plan, right? Um, any dream, and I don't know, this can be an encouragement to somebody that any dream, anything that you have in your heart, that is a desire that you want to do or that you feel like you're meant to do, just keep doing what you're doing. You know, someone asked, what do you do when you don't know what to do? And I love the response that I got once from, um, St uh, no, not Stevie Vertic, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Transformation, Fast of Transformation, Todd, Todd, Mike Todd, he said, do the last thing God told you to do or God asked you to do. Keep doing whatever God has placed in your hands, whatever thing that you find doing. And the Bible says that whatever your hands find doing, do it very well. Who would have said that my first appearance on TV would come because of a follower on YouTube, you understand? And you know, and then there'll be a second one, even though this is like work-wise, but you never know. Whatever you and finds doing, keep doing it. Whatever you're doing currently, keep doing it and keep trusting God that he's going to bring that dream because you didn't give yourself that dream. You know, God placed that dream, that desire in your heart and he's the one who will find it into fulfillment. I never had to pull, it, pull any strings. I never wrote to any TV station that I like to appear. Nothing, right? I was sent for. It's like when um, um, David was about to be, you know, crowned king and he was in, with the sheep doing the thing that he had in his hand and doing it very well you know shepherded shepherding the sheep sorry i didn't mean this to be a, a preaching vlog <laughs> but he was shepherding the sheep and it was sheeps rather and he was doing what his hand found doing right and from there he was sent for you understand so i just hope this is an encouragement to somebody that whatever it is that you think you should be doing with your life or whatever i think your life should be about whatever dream and hope just keep the hope alive keep the dream alive and do whatever you can do and trust god to do everything that you can not do okay all right yeah again i didn't mean for that to be the preaching vlog but yes yeah, so yeah so that happened and that was interesting i actually gave my phone to a guy to do a short clip but the guy was instead taking a lot of pictures which i will impute somewhere here because i don't have any clip to show and i could not catch the show because when i asked when it was going to air they told me it was going to air on saturday and it's not like we didn't subscribe and i wasn't going to do that because i was on tv i'm sorry <laughs> so um excuse me so I couldn't catch the show because they actually aired it on a Sunday morning. But thankfully, my brother-in-law, for some reason, was just scrolling to the TV and then he saw me and then he just stopped and um, he sent me screenshots. And that was the only screenshot, um, screen recording I have. I'll put it here also um, of that. So hope, thankfully, somebody caught it on TV and, yeah, and shared it with me, which is really exciting for me. Okay, so yeah, so that happened and I'm really excited about that. So today, today is another day. Today is actually a Tuesday. Today is the 14th. Uh, is it 14th? Yeah. Yeah, of March. Um, I'm actually going for another International Women's Day event. I still have like two to attend. But well, today, I'm actually going to the British Embassy. Yeah, the British Embassy. <laughs> yeah, so I was, um, my organization was actually invited uh, for an award based on, you know, what we do and all of that. So my, the founders will be, will be awarded today. And being the, you know, programs person and the key persons who, you know, handles all the programs of the organization, <laughs> You know, I also have to be there. So that's why I am all glammed up. Guys, I haven't done makeup like this in the longest time. I can't remember the last time, you know, oh, my camera is hot. Oh yeah, so I was saying, I can't remember the last time I was all glammed up like this. Yeah, um, wearing concealer or contour and stuff. I haven't done makeup like this in a while. And I tried to, you know, <laughs> go a little crazy and do my brows, but it wasn't working. Partly because the person who butchered my brows, <laughs> <laughs> this is why you don't give your brows to an hairdresser. 
do do okay but anyways guys yeah i'm almost late i need to get ready right now i'm so confused the dress code is business casual i don't like confusion if it's business let's it be business if it's casual let's it be casual what is business casual <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna wear but i'm gonna look for something to you know to, to wear because honestly i don't know what i'm going to wear at this point and i need to leave in the next five minutes so guys i need to run i'll catch you guys in the uber on my way all right okay bye <laughs> so i'm heading there now uh yeah i finally got a business casual but i don't think this thing is doing it for me i might have to take it up take it out but i'm actually liking the look like this but i don't know but anyways i'm heading to the embassy now um i don't know i'm, I'm pretty sure that they won't allow video or recording inside the embassy but i don't know but i'll try to record the event as much as i can okay so i am i don't like being late but i'm not that late the event's supposed to start around six this is 5 15 um and it's a 25 minutes drive from here let's say 30 minutes max so i should get there in good time i know my boss will be there by 5 30 but Continue yeah <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people won't come around six, but you know, let's not be like them, okay? So I'm not sure they will allow recording, but I'll see. If they do, I'm gonna record. If not, I was able to, you know, dress up. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to see you guys when I get there, okay? All right, guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm still gonna be able to record that video tonight, but I'll try. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> I'll show you guys the road that leads there until they ask me to turn off my phone this lipstick on my teeth anyways bye on human rights, um, Commonwealth trade, and of course, climate change, given the very important Edinburgh event. And the Commonwealth, I think, came together brilliantly to prepare a Commonwealth position for, for Edinburgh.
Kavash is eating. On <laughs> Kavash is eating American, uh, British food. La Bedu Jemai. This Kavash. Let me see. Ah, but you should be. It's like there's spaghetti inside also. See, I brought food for my for my husband. It's a good wife that I have. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Mr. Fash says it's not a mala. It's not a mala. Yeah, yeah. Wait, this one is cake now. Okay. Okay. Let me even taste this cake. I don't give a mala that mala. Inside fruits, is there fruit? I just taste it. Ah, it's in my mouth. You didn't taste this. Okay, down and I hate it. I don't like brownie cakes, mm -hmm. it's like brownie. I don't know, not too sweet, <laughs> but I like the. Pig in a blanket. What? Mm, roll. That nonsense. When I ate the <laughs> The kebab wasn't bad. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? <laughs> you are done. The <laughs> visa should bring food. They have brought the food. No limits to bring their money. Meat to go. I should be doing like our mothers, you know, one day. All right, guys, I'll do updates later. Let me first of all freshen up because I'm not getting myself as I am like this. You'll get your arm, maybe Moji will buy. I need to sleep. I need to. I'm so tired. Yeah, I stop complaining. Stop complaining. I sleep. I stop complaining. I should go and sleep. Say if I had met you when I came back, mm -hmm. and you had you know, massage my leg, massage my body. <laughs> say I will not sleep. Hmm. Hmm. Oh? Mr. Fast. <laughs> okay, see ya. Hey guys, this place is noisy. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Is the city of Abuja. Welcome to the city of Abuja. I didn't call my mic today, so so this is ShopRite, Novari Central Area. That's John Wood Hotel. Yeah, let's break the bias together. <laughs> oh Lord, this is my hair. You get that city. Hi guys, I'm not with my mic so I'm not sure how this is going to come out and I'm also not looking my best so anyways today is Saturday and um, I, told, I mentioned in my last vlog that I had another event, another International Men's Day event. Whew, today is the 19th of March and we have an event my organization is collaborating with 
watch women win so it's like a film show um yeah let me take you guys in i'll give an update later because i'm not on my mic Phew. women in unconventional professions you know um, most times women everyone has an idea of who a woman should be or what a woman can do right and I think this is just an opportunity to see women who are you know breaking the bias right there are jobs that women are not supposed to be in and women are you know they are not just being in those jobs but they are thriving in them the film screening and exhibitions I get to that level was there was a site they were working with us. One day I just went in because my mother was selling food here. I said, uh, I'm into carpentry. They said, Can you do this one? I said, And at that time, I have never done anything that has to do with construction. So I just told them, Yes, I know how to do it. So I was, I was just following them little by little. I was learning from them. So when they went to the looking up, they called me and said, Can you come for looking up? I said, Yes. That is how I, I just. Wow. 